I was playing darts in my bedroom when I was about 11, I was with my dad. I was missing the board, getting frustrated. And he sat me down and he said, well look, we live in a world that is basically made for people who can see, and you can't, you're in the minority. And it just woke me up. That was the night I realized that it was down to me. Everything I did in life was down to me, and it was down to me to find ways to do things. Is my mic still in my face? You hear me, Matt? I hear you, yeah. Okay. Just keep going forward and hold that, hold that, hold that. You're right on the line. Here we are, right there, right here. Okay, let's go first, first, and second, and we're standing and we're jumping, grab, and now we're breaking. Break hard, hard, hard. Perfect. In this project, I'm having to use every single facet that I've developed over the years to do something which is seemingly relatively simple. Go in a straight line, go over a jump, land. But once you, once you look at the mechanics, it's in no way simple at all. It's probably the most challenging thing I've ever uh, attempted. We're, I mean, if, let's put it this way, if you hit the jump like that, we're gonna be jumping big. Mm -hmm. Well, Mickey Diamond is, uh, you know, a champion racer and uh, an amazing jumper of motorcycles. Um, he's, he's just a legend. I made it to the top and I, I didn't have the respect and the, the knowledge of what I really had. So I, um, uh, man, I just uh, pissed it away in a sense and um, took 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 um took a lot of years to forgive myself for that, you know. And I, I'm I'm doing this, and 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 then then you got to get your arm back and get behind here, and 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 I fell over. I was like, I was all, oh, oh. But she knows, like, she knows what kind of pain I'm in. And if I have to sit on my on my knees with my feet underneath me and sit back. There's a screw that's coming out and it's, it hits the ground and she throws me a towel like, put this pad under you or put this block under you. And Brenda's just amazing instructing. And oh, she's, she's quite something. You can pull on me a little bit more, I'm strong. Go ahead, trust me, I'm not gonna let you drop. Hold on to my wrist tight too though. There you go. I don't feel vulnerable when I train with Brenda. I feel challenged, uh, I mean challenged physically and, and um, it's really, it's becoming more aware and I think awareness is such a, it plays such a massive part for all of us, being aware of other people, being aware of ourselves, being aware of our surroundings. Yep, straight, good, 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 keep going. Yeah, Matt, that looks a lot like the motorcycle right there. Can you feel that? Yeah. Very similar. I knew that fitness and balance were important, but I didn't realize how crucial it was and how quickly I could translate the, the fitness training and bring that to the bike. with motorbikes. I think it was the, it's the sound that they made and I love the feel of them and the, it, it represented, I don't know, some kind of magic or freedom and I wanted to have one of those little mini bikes and it just, it was there as a Christmas present and it was, it was, it's just something I've never forgotten. It was the most amazing, the most amazing gift that my parents could have given me and uh, I was only six so I wasn't big enough to, my legs weren't long enough to, to touch the floor on both sides. But I was so excited about it and I'd go, go into my dad's garage and 
and I would touch it and I would start it up and I, and I would always mesmerized by this thing. And I just couldn't believe, couldn't believe that I had a motorbike. It was like, a, it was a total dream come true. You're dead straight, man. Jump. And gas it down the backside, rock. Okay, come to a stop. We're starting to get hot, so let's do one more and we're done. Okay. Yeah. Whenever you talk to motorcyclists, they, they're always talking about sound. And they're always making the sound of the motorcycle and how it sounds in the different gear. When I was talking about plucking a string, I want you to pluck the clutch. Like when I was telling you, like, yeah. Okay. You can use the clutch and the throttle. You rev the oh, throttle yeah. and then snap the clutch. The so it goes, it, it holds and then builds the RPMs and then it explodes them on the rear. I'm just counting on the fact that he's going to be able to just mesh it into the motorcycle RPMs and the, the tones just like it's an instrument. His count and the RPM and the noise and the, and the vibration and the sound and the feel should be all something that he can duplicate again and again. And all we need to do is get hit the right note enough times and then it will be something that he can do always. Okay, I like this right now. You're lined up pretty damn good. You guys, I'm not, you guys, if he hits you, it's not my fault. That's right. All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. First and second and jump. Okay, nice and straight. First, second and... bent the lever just a little bit. You all right? Yeah, my uh, pistol just a little, a little knock when you hit it. Yeah. Let's get on. Let's do a couple more. Yeah. As long as you're good, I'm ready. Right, fine. We'll do some more. Yeah, if it's, uh, yeah, your, uh, if it's sore, then we can um, maybe ease off on the jumping and just practice the straights. I mean, there's, there's definitely there's stuff we can do that won't aggravate it. Yeah, we'll put some ice on it for now and let it, let it rest. He's soft and, and so human about so many details and so brave and fearless. Take your shoulder sore, huh? Yeah, it's, uh, especially when you land, it kind of made a click that time. Uh, that's not good. Hey, Andy, I was wondering if you could come and give me a, a dump of water. What an ass I am sometimes. And he doesn't hold it against me or nothing. He doesn't punish me for it or scald me or give me a hard time. We move forward and uh, I owe a gratitude to him for opening my eyes more because in a lot of ways, I'm more blind than he is, you know? So we're going to have Mr. Mickey Diamond get on this motorcycle here with these special goggles that I've constructed. <laughs> It'll still be way easier for me to do it yes. than for you, man. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I, you I've know. seen it. I've already yeah, you've seen, seen it, it a, a whole yeah. bunch of times. Yeah, correct. Ready for this? I think so. I think we're gonna be good. The bike's gonna be about 10 feet in front of you, five feet. And the right? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Matt, you, Whoa. this is good. You wanna come on this side? Where is the truck? On my left? Behind you, behind you. Okay. All right, Matt, grab a uh, Just stay on this side of me. Yeah. Obviously, behind you is you're going to be fine, okay? So I, if I have to put, you know. Yeah. If I'm going to run into somebody, just tell me to stop, okay? I'm not going to go fast. I'm just going to go up. No, man, I'm like about to throw up. 
Yeah, it's got me feeling weird. Let me try another one. When we went off that time, front yeah. end was high. Right. Like he went off and he's he's leaning back when he goes off because you yeah. can't really see where the jump is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Coming. Right. Jump, jump. Oh, I let, I, I smacked my face on the handlebars on the landing. <laughs> he smacked his face on the handlebars. Uh. <laughs> Damn, I just got a whole new respect for what you're doing, man. <laughs> I want to do a lap and try to get my bearings back. I still feel like I might throw up. <laughs> we set our sights at 100 feet. Um, I don't think that that's unreachable. I think that it's, it's gonna take some magic, but I've seen enough in my life to, to know that we can do it. challenges that I've set myself and overcome in life, I've always used this approach, which is to have an idea, have a very clear goal that you're shooting for, and then be prepared to figure out the stuff as you go, and um, not always expect it to be easy, and don't give up if it's not. <laughs>